uh, respect teachers and my dear audience. Uh, my case is not so complex and mastering, but for the fellows, this there is some learning that I have learned from my uh, what Dr. Shangjuk was telling L L L life lesson uh, lesson learning means lesson that I have got from my lifetime experience. So this is a 45, this was a 45 years old man having recurrent episode of unstable angina. There was STT change on the anterior lid, anterior wall hypokinesia on echocardiogram ejection fraction around 50%. Smoker hypertensive, elective angiogram shows There is a lesion in the mid LED, and patient was very much symptomatic. Class two, class three angina on E4. Before that, he had unstable angina, acute coronary episode. So this is this was case of spontaneous coronary artery dissection, possibly repeated attack of spontaneous coronary artery dissection, and that is a very old case. Around ten years back, I did it, and since then. I have stopped doing PCI to the SCAT case. So this is relative contraindication of even in acute coronary setting to do the PCI to the spontaneous coronary artery dissection. Because, because most of the cases that does not need stenting spontaneously that heals without an effect. So, Without any thinking, that was an ad, uh, ad hoc case. So without any thinking, after wiring, I feel resistance after causing the lesion in the distal LED. Wire was, tip was not moving. So I feel there is something wrong. And patient start complaining of chest pain. I pull out the wire and there is restriction in the flow to the distal LED and that dissection become obvious. So that is done by the wire, not in the true lumen, in the subintima. So there was some STT change. I took a microcatheter with pilot wire. I think that will negotiate the lumen and it goes distally. Initially, I put the wire to the septals. So that's initially, I think that that is the true lumen. So I uh, progress it more distally. On the left side, that was in the septal. So push the microcatheter and give the, remove the wire and through the microcatheter, find cross. Distal lumen was ensured with tip injection. Patient developed bradycardia, hypertension, close to the LED, totally lost. So this is the point where there is, there is no way to return back. So I did the balloon dilatation because distal part, I know that it is in the lumen. In the mid part, that is the subintima. So subintima to lumen, the wire has crossed. So I did the pre-dilatation with the smaller, then progressively with the bigger balloon. All the septal branch in the mid and part of the distal LED is lost. All the septal is lost. Do you think that is totally bald area in the mid LED? There is a lot of septum initially, if you see. So all are lost. Patient, after giving IV inotropes, developed tachycardia, still hypotensive. I put a stain there, do the post dilatation. So giving the distal flow is better, but by this time, antiseptal MI developed because of loss of septal. Uh, in the mid and proximal LED. So uh, patient was subsequently managed conservatively, rejection fraction reduced to 30%. And chest pain subsequently subsided, possibly because of MI 
all the muscles lost. So there is no area for ischemia. So this is the experience that was around 10 years back. Till then, I always tell my fellow, I always tell my juniors, for a scat patient, don't do anything. So another case, just it is done last week. That was a 65 years old male patient. Having history of uh, six sinus syndrome, unstable angina. That was the angiogram that shows right coronary is very small, left dominant, severe left main disease. He was the relative of one of our uh, doctor who worked in cardiac surgery. So there is a tight lesion in the LCX, dominant LCX. So when it was explained that uh, you need something, either surgery or uh, PCI, he was thinking and he was taking time that he will talk with his uh, senior surgeons. He knows that as per new guideline, he knows he was talking about that new guideline, uh, surgery is the better option. So I will do the uh, surgery and I will talk my senior surgeons. Patient was waiting. I was trying to tell him better to do at least because that time patient was all right. But while we are discussing with the doctor's relative, patient suddenly developed bradycardia, asystole and hypertension. So from waiting room, suddenly patient brought back into the cath lab with CPR ongoing. That is the last year scenario. Heart is totally stopped. I put that uh, temporary pacemaker. CPR was going. So luckily wire went into one of the branch. Then pre-dilatation with to a balloon, that was a uh, new balloon. CPR continued. So with CPR, intercoronary adrenal and stent deployed for into 12 millimeter DES. Heart was barely moving here. Patient, by this time, our senior anesthetist was there and he intubated the patient. So after post dilatation with 4.5 millimeter NC balloon, heart start contracting. So LC exhalation, I kept it like this. Patient survived. And before discharging the patient, I did the LC stenting. And that was a very terse was uh, with the help of body wire, I put the stent. 4 millimeter stain, 4 into 24. Post dilatation. The patient discharges after just five or seven days. So, this is the final result. Thank you for patient care.